Hey, happy Monday. I'm gonna make a blend, so I thought I'd pop on here and kind of give you a little how-to with like dogs barking and cars and everything going by. But <laughs> um, I'm making a blend, a rollerball for a friend and her kids for calming um, to help them stay present and calm, which will help their bodies stay at optimum health as well, right? Less stressed, more neurohomeostasis, and um, just feeling good you know, through whatever comes. So you need your, I'm making a roller ball. So you can make mists or roller balls, or these could be a diffuser blend, let's say. But you need your roller balls, which you can get on doTERRA.com or your favorite stores online. I love aromatools.com and I love shareoils.com. Those are my favorites. That will actually help and ship out to Hawaii. There's a lot. I'm sure you know your favorites, but if you need more on that, you can search around. Um, and then you need your fractionated coconut oil. You need an oil that's good for the skin that um, will not harden under 70 degrees. And I love, I want fractionated coconut oil because it has no scent. So I want to smell my oils. I don't want to smell, um, I do love almond oil. I love avocado oil, um, but I mostly use this so that I can just smell my essential oils. And then you need your references to look up what it is you're catering to. Is it an illness? Is it a immune support? Is it a big illness? Excuse me. Is it an emotion? Is it for energy? Is it for sleep? Is it for athlete's foot? Like a million things, right? So go to your books. I'll tell you which books and go to doTERRA.com. You can... Um, my blog is filling up. You can go to my website or your favorite person that you like to follow here on the IG that has lots of recipes, tips, and tricks. Um, on my website, I have um, I have a link up to the customer videos. So I've made a ton of videos over the years. But wh whatever, wherever you know would be the simplest. I think doTERRA.com would be the quickest, simplest. In the search bar, log in and then type in the ailment or the need or, or the oil. Maybe you only have two oils and so you're thinking well what can I use this for you can look up all the uses of one oil because one oil comes a truck <laughs> yep <laughs> um, and then uh, one oil does one plant does so many things this is what boggles my mind this is what makes me stay so excited one plant does so many things so imagine our blends with a group of plants in them. If you break that down, they're each doing a lot of different things. For one ailment, there's a lot of suggestions. So don't let that overwhelm you, just know those are all the options. And then what I would do, after you look up things, I'll tell you the books in a second, is narrow it down to this. One, what do you have on hand? What's in your home? That's the easiest, because you probably want it right now. So start to look up what you have in compared to what your ailment is or what you want or need. If you have time, then of course order it, right? If you need help ordering, then you know you can always hit me up um, for ongoing support, right? If you're already my customer or if you need new help and guidance in how to start or what you want to get. Um, and then... Um, I forgot what I was going to say. So anyway, so here's the books. <laughs> so Modern Essentials. These are the big books. I actually prefer the smaller versions of these now. I give out the smaller versions um, nowadays because we have doTERRA.com and we have so many resources. So Modern Essentials or the Essential Life book. They just released new ones in September. They release new ones every September because of our new oils and product launch. Um, those are great. Every single oil, every single product, and a huge, huge um, ailment section. And then I love my emotions and essential oil book because everything to me is linked to our emotions and our well-being and our what we're thinking and feeling. So I tie that all together, and this is really powerful. Like, what else is going on, right? You know, you have a cold. What else? That's what I'm always thinking. Anyways, welcome to being my friend. <laughs> so then. For kids, okay, so let's talk about dilution. So for the babes and the kids, for the little babies, 10 drops is perfect. You don't need more than 10 drops of essential oil. That's why everybody thinks they're so expensive and you know, there's 250 drops in our, the bigger bottles. 
there's 80 drops in our five mil bottles. A dose for a child is one drop diluted, where they're applying it or if they're old enough to take it or just putting it in a diffuser, you're only gonna use a few drops in your diffuser. When you're making blends, like that's as much as you need for little, little babes, yeah? When it comes to kids, and um, I would say up to adolescence, you could do maybe like 25 drops. Um, 25 drops is a great amount in a roller ball. This is a 10 mil size. So just knock that in half if you're doing a five mil. And then you're gonna add the rest coconut oil. And that's it, right? That's all you're gonna use. And usually you're gonna use more than, a lot of, you might use a blend, just dilute, let's say balance, and then that's all you're using. You might use a couple single oils and decide the ratio. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, and then for adults, depending on what it's for, I mean, I've used 45, 80 drops of essential oil, depending. When I had the flu, I made a really strong, I think it was like 40, 50. I didn't count. I don't know. But I put a ton of each immune support oil that I had and filled the rest with coconut oil. And it was really strong. Um, and then just need to make sure you check the coolness or the hot oils and test it on yourself first, right? So if you're going to use cinnamon or cassia or on guard, or oregano, you're gonna dilute those suckers because they're gonna feel hot on skin and then you're gonna go put it on your kid and they're gonna go, mom, <laughs> which I've totally done before, right? So I love, that feeling to me feels good, it doesn't bother me. A lot of people it does, that's skin sensitivity. Um, and I've heard of even mint oils like spearmint being spicy on skin before. So just check the skin sensitivity, which is in a chart when you get your oils, and also the coolness. Some people don't like that tingly feeling. I love it, especially on this island when it's hot a lot of times. Some people don't want to feel too cold and tingly, like from our peppermint or deep blue or wintergreen. So just check that too. Always dilute to be safe. That's kind of the ratio I'm giving you. I'll type this up in the thing. And that's it. Deciding on what oils to pick, you're going to go to your resources. You're going to pick out what do you have on hand? That's the easiest thing. What do you have on hand? Or if you have time to order it, then you can order it. Reach out to me support for support if you need it or you know, figure out kind of what you want. And when it comes to the ratio of how much, this is my biggest hint. So you're going to take the caps off the oils that you decided. So for this blend for calming, I'm going to use Roman chamomile, which is 20% off this month and so good for newborns up to adults. Um, don't forget how potent they are out of the bottle, by the way. It's really strong. Lavender. Copaiba. This is calming the nervous. This is every day. Do I use this? Calming the nervous system. This is also, you can get this free this month with any 200 PV order with the Copaiba soft gels and that um, yellow mandarin, which is, I'm so excited to get. Wait, yellow? Yellow mandarin? I think it's yellow mandarin. I'm forgetting. Um, and, oh, and then I'm going to add black spruce, which is a great oil for calming. It's new. I'm already out of it. I love all the fur oils. So when I'm deciding how much of each, this is my big hint. You can take the tops, first of all, to see if you like it together. I just do that and run my, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> and then I run my nose across the top. That's going to be a good blend right there. Um... Perhaps you don't like the smell of one of the oils, like maybe you don't like fur oils, but you really want to add black fur, add less. And then it's just a matter of playing. It's so fun. Like you just get to add your drops. So I'm going to do probably about, let's see, I don't know if I have time in this video, but I'll do 10, 15 of Copaiba. Um, I got to wrap this up this video, but I'll probably do 10, 15 of Copaiba. I'll do 10 lavender, 10 Roman chamomile, and I'll probably add 10, 15 black spruce because I love that smell. And then I'll top it off and it's ready to go. And that's it. So that's a great calming blend right there. Um, have fun, most of all. Go with your intuition. Listen to your gut. Listen to your nose. Maybe you just don't like the smell of something, so that's fine. And um, I don't know, just have fun making them. Don't be scared. Um, worst case scenario, you mess up, so then use it for something else. <laughs> Clean your house with it or something, and then start new. <laughs> um, love and light too. Hope that helps. I'll put some more information in the write-up underneath and um, have a good Monday. Oops. <laughs>